Right then, it's been about a year so uh, since my last video, so I thought maybe it's time I did another one. Um, you know, I don't want to don't want to overwhelm you with with uh, lots of content. Um, but anyway, one of the problems is I don't really I didn't really know what to do with this channel. I would like to show people books that they would, you know, they're not sure about whether they want to buy or not. So I've got lots of books. So I can show you what I've got and whether you want to buy them. Yeah, seems reasonable. Anyway, so. But then what, you know? How do you make it interesting? Honestly, how, I mean, how do you make it interesting? Uh, you can't. So I thought I'll just crack on anyway. Now I'm going to take a random book because I couldn't decide what books to use. So I'm going to, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We've got, here are this, this. Martin Asik. This is an artist who I I discovered. I think he's well discovered, but you know, he's new to me. Um, probably within the past year or so. Uh, so it's, so this is is Martin Asik. Asig, Martin Asig, Saint Paul, six five two Zeichnungen. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. So. I don't know why I said that, anyway. So let's have a look. I like his work because he's a lovely colorist, nice painter, and he uses pattern a lot, which is something I've, you know, always tried to do in my work. I, I, sometimes I feel it's a bit forced, so I, I get rid of it, but this, uh, this fella sort of sticks with it. I mean, look, how gorgeous is that? Honestly, really nice. Look at these, look at these. I think they're gorgeous. So anyway, he's new to me. Um, I, as I normally do when I find an artist I like, I sort of buy loads of books um, in sort of quick succession on, on them. And yeah, look at this, look at this. I mean, that's just so simple and so beautiful. Imagine that, imagine that in your house. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Anyway, it's boring watching me looking at a book, but I'll, I'll do some uh, extra, you know, images. Good to see it. Let's see if I've got any more of his. Back in a minute. Who's this? Ha! Told you I'd be back. Little one, little one here, polka dots. It is called Martin Asig Polka, and why not? Yeah, little, quite a thin little paperback book. See these, this is a kind of motif I noticed he used at one time. It's like a woman in a dress that he sort of, there you go. Ha, that's how it's a motif because he's done it again. Um, it's in patterns above, which I love. Per Kirkaby, I think. Per Kekabe did that. Um, there's a whole sort of series of works he did where he just took, you know, old brown, typical, you know, landscape paintings that you might even find in a charity shop and uh, just smear some bright green. <laughs> so it's a really simple book. Ah, the, the results are so beautiful. I mean, there's another one. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Let's just, I don't know, I, like, I think he's a, he's a gorgeous painter, this fella. Anyway, again, I'll show you some, um, I'll show you a reel of, of some of these. I think that's all I've got of him. Um, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Another one, more, more polka dots. What else have we got? Martin Asik, Tuzond Grund, or Grund, because it's, it's not French, is it? It's probably German. Right, let's have a look at this one. You can see thinnish, hardback, nice. There's the back cover. Yeah. And if I flick through, see that? Just little, well, I assume it's a watercolour, but just, yeah, so simple and beautiful. 
you know it's the real deal this fella is really 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 interesting I think uh, see if there's any of this in English it's all in German so far that's for these no idea what that says uh, uh, no. Isn't it fascinating watching somebody read a book? Ah, uh, oh, nice. No, anyway, doesn't seem to be. Oh, hang on a minute, nope, still German. Still German. So I wouldn't say buy this if you want to read, unless you speak German, about Martin Assig, but if you like looking at pictures, Got some lovely illustrations, really nice. So, uh, so there you go. I might um, shoehorn in a bit of a about Martin Assig now that I've decided. Because obviously, when I started this video, I didn't know I was picking him up, did I? Because you know, randomization—that's what it's all about. Right then, I've just given a whole piece of camera that, um, that I hadn't pressed record. So, you know, that's me. <laughs> that's pretty much me. I rattled through all of these books that I did before looking for a synopsis of who is Martin Assey. Um, two of the books are completely foreign and one was describing the work rather than him. So. After reading out a thing from one of the galleries, which I wasn't convinced about, I went to art.net, uh, where, this is what they say about Martin Asik. What we did learn is that he was born in 1959. He's 63 years of age. Does that work? Yeah, yeah perfect. Um, and he was born in Germany, lives and works in Berlin, uh, and some other town which I can't remember, but anyway, you know, that's what the graphics are for, I'll put it there, exactly. Right, so Martin Assig is a contemporary German painter, primarily working in encaustic and collage on paper. Characterised by his brightly coloured patterns and deliberately naive style, which I question how you can be deliberately naive, but, you know, this is, this is art. This is how they write these art things. Acid creates many of his works by overpainting found thrift store canvases. Which is was what I was telling you about earlier. But it's ah, there's something magical. You can take a pretty ah, you know, let's say a crappy painting. I mean it might be a crappy painting. You know, not particularly um skillful. But often there's a lot of you know, these these sort of oil paintings you find that amateurs have done you know, they end up in charity shops. They're usually very heavily worked. There's a lot of work gone into them. And it doesn't take much to lift lift them to another level. I mean, they, as, as a base for something interesting. You know, they can be really, really interesting. Anyway, so where was I? Thrift store canvases. No, no, no. His finished pieces often maintain the look and size of medieval manuscripts, which is something I don't know about because... I've only ever seen his stuff in books or on the internet. I've actually not seen any of anything of his in real life, which is something I think we get used to unless you live in the, the, the larger cities. It's difficult to see anything in real life. Martin Assig, I imagine you'd probably have to go to Germany to see his work anyway. But I digress. Uh, manuscript and pull from many different sources, including the abstract painting of Paul Clay, maybe paintings, yeah. folklore illustrations, historical depictions of the body and comic books. His work can sometimes achieve the appearance of relief sculpture as the encaustic wax, unlike other mediums, can be built up and layered so that it lends a distinctive weight and depth to the painted surface. Yeah, relief sculpture or thick painting, you know, I don't, not quite sure I go so far as sculpture, but then I've not seen them. You know, there you are. Uh, yeah, born in 1959 in Schwelm, Germany. He went on to study at the University of Arts in Berlin. Today his work can be found in the Federal Art Collection of Germany and the Museum of Modern Art in New York, among others. 
The artist lives and works in Berlin. So there you are. Martin Assig. What can I say? Tune in next. Another year, shall we? Shall we book it in for next year? I'll try and uh, do one a bit sooner than that. Anyway, thank you very much. See you again. Uh, got, got to turn it off.